Okay, I'm back. We'll start out with River of Loom here. I think I have four turns to show you. And this game I'm fairly excited about. It's still going my way. Um, you'll see later I have some games that are falling apart. So pretty soon here you're going to see me get beaten on these uh, YouTube games. So this one gets kind of hectic with that giant attacking. Um, he's fully engaged on that city up north. And you'll see that here in a second because I'm going to put a, a wall around it. But he does not let up. He is a relentless giant. On myself, I'm, I might have just walked past that city once I saw the wall. And I rarely go walls, but I mean, if you have a giant on your doorstep, wall and defender is really the only way to go. Unless you decide it's not worth it. I know in a previous video, in the previous video, I had said that um, I was going to let that village go. But um, honestly, that was a bit of a lie. I just wanted uh, my opponent to keep attacking it. Because I saw, uh, I saw a path to defending it with a wall. Which, we'll see here in a second. He is going to get inside that village after all. So his, uh, his relentless pursuit will pay off. I'm thinking of speeding this up even more. But no, we'll see. Right now I've got more defenders than I ever remember having in this game. It's getting kind of ridiculous. But I don't normally play Quasali. And, well, that's what they start with as defenders. So uh, let's see, try to use them to our advantage. I mean, I'm in first, so who knows? I sh maybe I should have been on the offensive this whole time instead of the defensive. Maybe defenders were not the right way to go. So yeah, I'm barely in the lead. Well, there's some unknown player out there. And that's what's backfired on for me in some of my other games is I kind of ignore the unknown player. Or the one I think I'm is weaker, and he gets a naval presence that I can't compete with. There really is no good defense against a uh, naval presence in this game. So look, there the plot thickens. I don't know why I drew a circle down there. But anyways, it only requires a catapult shot, and then one warrior strike... And then that giant can enter that village. So there's no way for me to pre prevent that at this point. He's already got a warrior up there on the edge. So knowing that, I'm going to set up a trap here. So I make another giant to move my warrior up north. Because if I were to move him south, he would not have been in striking distance of that square right next to my village there. My walled village. And that square is very important because I need, if he gets in my village, I need to eject him. I need to pop him out right into that square. And the reason is that is because he's going to be frozen and I, I want to hit him as, with as many units as I can. So I don't get any retali retaliation from that giant. But it gets kind of hairy. I kind of miscalculate. <laughs> yeah, so my unknown opponent has now passed me. He's probably out there building his armada. <laughs> so even though I may have a plan for now, it's just I need to get some boats in the water. So there he goes. Does exactly what I thought. So here's the problem. I was going to buy math, but 
I buy math, I also need climbing because I have to get a unit on that mountain. But I don't have enough money to buy climbing math and a lumber or a sawmill. So instead, I'm saved by this monument here, this um, Connect 5 city monument. So now I still have enough monuments. I've, I've, well, I've got two monuments, so that's exactly what I need to be able to um, pop this giant out of here. So I'm just going to have to very carefully place my units to make sure he goes into the right square. And I move this warrior up <clears throat> because he's still active because he's got a unit he can hit. Let's see, he pops out exactly where I wanted him. So yeah, now I've got my three units that can strike him. So I take this 40 health giant down to uh, 19. So his health's pretty much cut in half. So now let's uh, unmask the rest of this uh, Zabasi's plans here. He's pretty much going completely catapult heavy here. Well, and you know why, because uh, these defenders are annoying. They've probably been driving him crazy this whole time. So, I mean, what what's the answer to um, defenders? Pretty much catapults. Fortunately, tech costs are high now. For me to get into the water, it's going to be expensive. But who knows? Maybe my opponent's... my. Uh, my advanced opponent out there, my unknown opponent, maybe he's connected by land still. I haven't I haven't explored everything. So I put a defender in my only my only sea attackable village there. Or should I just say sea enterable village there? My capital can be attacked as well. Okay, now it's time for uh, Brave Queens. And I don't remember if this is one of the games I was talking about that went south or not. Yeah, you know what? This game is one of the games going south. So I'm just checking. It's always a good idea to click on a unit and see if he has um, defense value, which is kind of a dumb thing to check for in the first place because he's got archers. If your opponent's got archers, then he has defense value, added defense value in the trees there. So there's... Um, Sev Pat, um, there's Barter, and I do remember from his screenshots he's been sharing, he's been building, he's been building an, an armada, and I didn't remember how bad it was, I mean, I've, I've been seeing his screenshots, but I haven't been paying enough attention, because this gets scary, guys. And we'll speed this up because, um, well, Ellie here is a bot. Should I should really have stopped paying so much attention to this bot. And, and just kind of focus more on the attacks coming from the human players. And I would have known, yeah, I need to build a very strong navy. So it looks like we're going to rider spam. And the bot's not doing very well. Well, I know Ellie becomes a bot. I'm not sure if it's a bot at this point. Okay, so I'm using this draw on tool now, which came in handy this turn. I have a lot of units I want to um, move. And we need to make sure we move them in the perfect order here. So look, yeah, that was an eight and a two health rider that was able to kill that full health um, archer. I think it was full health. We'll get that rider in there to block whatever he can bring in from the uh, left. Because we are going to get that giant. That giant is weak now. It's 11 health giant. It can be killed by uh, two archers 
or two riders or two warriors or any combo of that. So now we see we've got two battleships. So we do have a naval presence. And then we have both Luxador and Barter, both human players in the water at this time. And I only see one battleship on their part. So yeah, my Navy now has four units. So I think I'm doing pretty well. I really should have got that giant in the water. So I've got two giants that are fairly healthy. I think my mistake was sending them towards um, Ellie there, which is pretty much under control right now. His archer spam is um, is weakening. It does weaken my giants quite a bit. But, I mean, my rider spam seems to be able to take care of it right now. Let's see if this is the turn where everything goes south for me. So, one, two, three, four. Oh dear God, he just brought four giant battleships down out of the clouds. Well, correction, he brought three down. He already had one. He already had one in play. Yeah, so I don't really have any way to, I don't have any way to respond to that. Honestly. At this point, what am I supposed to do? So I already see my southern village is going to be destroyed. Or he can take that northern village. <laughs> or maybe he can go after both. I don't. Maybe he's got some more battleships over there in the clouds. And the bad thing about it is he's been sending me screenshots. So I could have seen this whole thing happening. So yeah, what you saw there was... I guess it's time for catapults, bam. I really don't know what else to do. I'm pretty much as good as dead now. Hm, I swear I made the speed three times and went back to two. We already know that. Um, there's some gremlins in this VLC player. So there it is. Barter's fairly far behind, but yeah, I'm dead. And here, Barter, I think he sent me two or three screen, screenshots. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> there you see one, two, three, four. So the good thing is I would have seen the four giant battleships, but the good thing is I only see four battleships. Still, at the end of his turn, he's still only got four battleships. I am saying only, but really, yeah, I'm screwed. So this game is Dark Glory. I don't remember posting a video before of this. I think it's been, it's just been forever. Which tells me somebody may have timed out and gotten kicked. So one of my favorite tribes, Ellie Ryan. And honestly guys, it's only my favorite tribe when I'm creating the game. Because, I mean, there's an argument out there. Some people say the only advantage to game creation is that you get the first turn. First turn advantage. But I swear, guys, anytime I pick Ellie Ryan, when I'm not the game creator, I spawn on a two-village island with, like, maybe one or two trees. No, it's got to have at least two trees because you, I think you're guaranteed two uh, 
two animals you can wake up. So yeah, two village island, the bare minimum amount of trees. And the only way to upgrade is to get ports, which is a death sentence for Ellie Ryan. You know how hard it is to get ports, to get to be able to afford to put ports down with Ellie Ryan? It's insanely hard. So I don't, I don't remember ever winning a game where I was Ellie Ryan and not the game creator. Let's see what speed we're in here. So yeah, of course these powerful polytars give us an advantage in the beginning. So I did get an explorer there, which so I got organization, shields. So it, it paid off okay. I do know next turn, I definitely want to get down a sanctuary. And I normally don't use them, but I see a quick way to, um, a very quick way to some, um, extra income up there with some shared uh, forest animals. So this spawn was fairly lucky in that it's one of the few that I can actually use sanctuaries. Okay, let's look. Yeah, this is our opponent here. I forget who shared that. But yeah, he sent me a screenshot of what I can already see, luckily. Which is the great part of getting an explorer if you can, if you figure you can afford it. I'm not really sure. Did Jin just leave that village completely open? I think the player either got kicked or resigned and Probably a friend bot. Hmm. 